Hey kids, it's me, Teacher Cat. Welcome to another Sunday lesson review. Teacher Gabe just taught you guys about what happened with Samson and the Philistines. So I wanted to recap that story with you real quick. I hope you enjoy. Ha ha, it is I, Samson, the Nazarite. I am someone who took a vow to be specially set apart for God so that I'm not allowed to do things like cut my hair. Oh, but I am super duper strong. Oh, but what is this? Ooh, a beautiful lady. Hi, I'm a Philistine woman and I think you want to marry me. Oh, I do, I do want to marry you. But I betray you, no. And then I go and marry another man. No, I'm so angry. I kill all these Philistines. Ah! I've killed over a thousand Philistines. And now, oh, what is this? A different woman. Hello. Hi. I think you want to spend some time with me. Yes. Yes, I do. Ooh, she's pretty. I like her even though she's not one of God's people. But I don't care. I just want to do what I want to do. Come with me. Ah, well, I know that the Philistines are here to try to trap me. But I will wake up in the middle of the night and this gate that they are surrounding. I lift up with my strength and take the whole gate with me. Ah. I'm Delilah, and I'm so beautiful, la 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 la. Oh, oh Delilah, you are so beautiful. I am Samson, and I am super duper strong. Please, be with me, I love you. Oh, okay. Samson doesn't know, but I don't really care about him, and I want to get rich. So I'm going to betray him, and figure out what the source of his strength is, and tell the Philistines. Not only do I trick him once, not twice, not three times, but four times until he eventually tells me what that source is. Do you know what it is? Samson, Samson, tell me. Why are you so strong? If you love me, you tell me. Oh, okay, fine. I won't trick you anymore. It is because of my hair. I am a Nazarite and I am not allowed to cut my hair. I have made a vow to God. Oh, okay. Here, come sleep. You look tired. Take a nap on my lap. God's strength has left me because I love this woman and believed her lies more than I love God and did not keep my vow to him. God, please, please give me strength one more time that I may get revenge on the Philistines. And with that, the temple fell on all the Philistines worshipping their idol and killed them all. Again, Samson was selfish and wanted to get vengeance for himself, but God used even his mistakes and actions for his purposes. Through Samson, many of the enemies of God's people were destroyed. God is so powerful and in control of everything that even when we are sinful and weak, God uses them for his purposes. But was the end good for Samson? No, he ended up blind and miserable and dying. So even though God used Samson's sinful desires for his will, we should not want to be like Samson. We need to obey God and live for him, not for ourselves. God is so powerful and sovereign, and we are weak and sinful, but God sent a perfect deliverer for us that's way better than Samson. Who is that perfect deliverer? Do you know? You're right, it's Jesus. I hope you guys learned a lot, and I hope that you guys remember that Jesus is our perfect deliverer, and we are to seek to obey and worship God and God alone. All right, kids, that's all for today. Bye!